everyone, it's Julia. I have an easy sweatshirt makeover today. I've been working on this sweatshirt this week and thought I'd share it. I started with several scraps of fabric, my heat and bond light, my dragonfly design, and then some white school glue. I'm using a, a comfort color sweatshirt. This is one of my favorite sweatshirts. This is the color sea foam. And I'm starting by deconstructing this neckband. I'm just cutting this neck, the, the folded edge off this neckband to give it a layered look. I will link my sweatshirt um, supplier down below. I do buy these wholesale, but I can also usually find, if you just want to make just one of them, there, there's, Amazon does, does sell these too, and I'll also link that. My wholesaler, I do, like I said, I do buy quantity, and I think you need to have a, a member, or you have to have a, an ID for that. But I'll link that down below. I'm finding the center front here and marking that. I'm going to put, be putting a slit on this neck. This is, just gives it so it's easier to put over your neck. And then cutting off the cuffs. And I'm cutting those cuffs right above the seam. These cuffs will be, be rolled back. I really like the inside of these shirts. And then I cut a slit on that bottom um, just to give it, again, some wiggle room at the, at the hip area. And doing the same thing with this part of the band, too. I'm layering it so that it's going to be a, two layers, this, this band. I just like that look of that. I'm not concerned with this band fraying or raveling. It, it's a very stable knit. And now I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to be edge stitching these using an applique stitch. It's similar to a blanket stitch and you can kind of see it there. I'm using brown thread because I, the part of my um, dragonfly is, is also going to be brown, the, the, the body of the dragonfly. And all my stitching on my dragonfly is going to be brown. Notice when I'm doing this edge stitching, I'm not stitching into the band itself, the, the ribbing part. I'm stopping and starting before I get to that band. Again, that band doesn't fray, and it's just an easier place to stop it and tie my thread right before I get to that band. I'm doing the, one of the cuffs here now, and I'm, and I'm sewing in the round with that same um, applique stitch. I'm sewing that so the fuzzy side is up because these cuffs are going to be turned back. And you can see it there. I added a button to that, to that center front and then also to the slit um, at the bottom. Now it's on from, to my applique. And you notice I, this is my heat and bond light. And I have this, this rectangle drawn out. And I'm taping this so that the paper side is down and the adhesive side is up. This is how I like to, to do my scrappy appliques. And I'm, I'm spreading my white glue on the top or the, the adhesive of side of this heat and bond. So I'm going to have glue on top of glue, basically. But this doesn't make much sense now. But this is the easiest way i found to do my scrappy appliques. I've cut some of my, my cotton prints down to oh, about a half inch. They can vary some. And I'm just spreading this on top of this heat and bond now, right on, so that glue will, will just ad adhere that. You can see that, I can, I can see that rectangle through this. It's hard to see on camera, but I can see that so I know where to lay my pieces. I'm just filling in. I am doing three shirts here. That's why this piece is so big. This is going to be just the background for my dragonfly. Almost have the whole entire area filled up now. I'm just smoothing it out and cutting off the ends here. This will get set aside now to dry. And I'm working on the the rest of the applique, my little dragonfly. 
So the, the pebbly side or the adhesive side is down now. And I'm just using, just using a pencil to trace these des, this design. There's three pieces to this. And I'm doing three shirts, so each of these pieces will be drawn on three times. There's two wings, two pieces to the wing, and then the body. I've done it as Dragonfly pretty much every year for the last, oh gosh, probably 10 years. I just do it. It's, it's a really popular design for me. It just seems one of those things that a lot of people like, like Dragonflies. Just rough cutting these out now. And then we'll be ironing these pieces on the back side of my, my chosen um, cotton prints. This is the body and I and I chose this brown floral. And each of the wing pieces are, are gonna, is going to have a different print. And it's out to cutting these, fussing cutting these out. Now I'm ironing the back side of this scrappy piece and adhering the glue or the adhesive from the heat and bond to the, to the print. And I like to iron both from the front and the back when I'm doing this, just to make sure that that adhesive is, is in place. Now I'm cutting this down. Each one of these is approximately three and a half inches wide and a little bit longer. I think it's about four inches long. Now it's on to getting my applique iron onto my sweatshirt. Just figuring out where I want it. And this just peels right off. And now, now I have a scrappy applique ready to adhere to my, my shirt. Just getting it in the center. I'm going to take this piece to my sewing machine now and I'm going to be free motioning this on. I'm going to do that before I put the rest of my dragonfly on. You can see it there. Just just did a, um, a, a free motion stitch over all the edges of that little applique, of that background. Just taking the back pieces off of this dra just dragonfly wings here, just peeling that off and laying it into place. I'm at my sewing machine now and my feed dogs are dropped and my quilting foot is on and I'm just tracing these pieces of this of this dragonfly. Notice I too I, I drew on his little antennas there and then I'm going down and I will also draw in his, his flight path there. Going over it a couple times. I'm going to add a button to the corner 
so there will be three little buttons on there. But I also thought it'd be fun to add some um, little bit of a detail to the cuff. And so notice I just cut a strip of this scrappy applique, remove the backing, and I'm going to place that right on the cuff. And again, I'm going to just take it to my sewing machine and put that on with free motion stitching. So it's a real easy way to add a little bit of detail to an area with, it looks like it's so much more work than it is doing this scrappy applique method. And here's some pictures. I just took some pictures and I thought I'd share it with you. This is on my Etsy store if anyone's is interested in the final project. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye for now.